we are only four days now away from the eclipse. State emergency officials are getting ready for the influx of people. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Abby Peterson joins us now with more on the details. Abby. I went to NEMA this morning where Assistant Director Brian Tuma discussed the state's response plans for Monday. You know, anything can happen. I mean, it's, that, that's always a possibility. Uh, but I think we're prepared to address those issues as they uh, develop. The August 21st phenomenon could potentially bring half a million visitors to Nebraska. Many state agencies and organizations have been collaborating with a common goal of making this a safe event. Typically on weather events or, or fires, I mean, we know the potential exists, it, but we don't know when it's going to occur. Uh, this is a bit odd. We, we know when this is going to occur and we know what is likely to, to happen. Uh, what we're trying to address are some of the consequences associated with it. According to Tuma, this may be the biggest tourism event the state has ever seen. NEMA and the American Red Cross are reminding people to come up with an emergency plan in advance and to be aware of possible weather changes. If you are working on the eclipse day, you're going to need to leave early. Um, if you're planning on viewing the eclipse, you're going to need to leave incredibly early to get to where you are. So plan to leave hours in advance of where you need to be, even if it's only 20 or 30 miles. The state expects there to be heavy traffic on Interstate 80 and all other roads. They advise people to pack snacks, water, entertainment, your eclipse glasses, and to make sure to have a full tank of gas. The most important thing when you're on the road is to not stop unless you need to for safety reasons. Um, we don't want people stopping on the side of the road to look at the eclipse, but you also as a driver need to be hyper aware of pedestrians. The Red Cross also advises people to print maps before you leave because internet and cell phone connections could be an issue. Some good reminders. Abby Peterson, thank you. Coming up on the news.